Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Everybody. My name is Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa where I love to create recipes using most African ingredients and other Western ingredients and Asian influences. It's like it's just so creative and it's like fusion food. Absolutely. But of course with my little twist on how I do add my flavors. <laughs> You'll be surprised. I was too, but I love it and I know you would. Anyway, let's start cooking. <laughs> And today on the menu, I do have this beautiful Gary Pinon recipe from Togo. It's equally enjoyed by the Ewa tribe as well from Ghana. And today's recipe is inspired definitely by my chicken stew. So that's exactly what I'll be using for this beautiful recipe. So here I do have my chicken stew. And what I'm actually doing is actually taking some of the sauce out because that's what I'll be using as a broth to actually cook my Gary in. I will leave a link for the recipe for the chicken stew at the top, so do check that out as well. Because this is flavor packed and it's so delicious. So I'm just warming my stew through and that should not take more than about three to four minutes. And now I'm actually adding some chicken stock. Now, yes, my homemade chicken stock recipe is actually coming up. God, I did promise that a while ago and I still haven't actually uploaded it, so I have to do that. So I'm actually just adding that chicken stock to it. So that's just intensifying the flavor. So if you think about it, I'm actually using the chicken stew and I'm also using the chicken stock. So that is just so chickeny. <laughs> creating words again. So now that my broth is simmered perfectly, I'm just adding my Gary to it. And now I'm actually going to mix everything together till I end up with a beautiful homogeneous mixture. Now this should not take more than about six to seven minutes. Now you might go like, oh, that looks a bit watery and wet, but that's how it's supposed to be because with Gary, when you actually add some water to it, it actually swells up. So this would actually firm up eventually and it's just beautiful. And I like the fact that it's light, it's fluffy, it just melts in your mouth and it's just packed with flavors. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually going to be adding my shenanigans to this so I've actually got some chopped peppers so it's just a green and red peppers and a little bit of onion and I'm just adding it to the mixture I'm just going to cook this for about a minute now this just adds a different dimension to the pinon traditionally you know that's not done um, but what it actually does is it actually gives it a refreshing taste and it also offers it that beautiful crunch that it does require because I'm serving just this with some shredded chicken. So of course the chicken stew that I made is exactly what I'm actually creating this Gary Pinot out of and it's just incredible. Thirdly, it actually looks colorful and it's just beautiful when you actually serve it as well. So at this point, my Gary Pinot is a uh, Perfecto. <laughs> if you did watch my chicken stew recipe, you'd notice that I did add some salted beef to that and you can see that speck of it in here. So this is like some flavor packed food, be crying agro. At this point, you can be creative with whatever shape you'd like to present your Gary Pinot. You can actually have it in the perfect round bowl shape. You know, you can actually put in some moultons for different type of design. You know, it's fun. Um, but equally, I'm just, just doing some shenanigans as I always do. So at this point, I'm actually creating this beautiful pocket here. And I'm actually going to fill this pocket a hole, may I say, um, with some shredded chicken. And that's just like going to be beautiful. So, you know, this can actually be had as a family dish. Everybody just sits down, you know, get your spoon, get your fork, or, you know, just use your natural hands, making sure that you do it clean and just sit and enjoy it's so flavor packed it's so beautiful and yes i hope you're actually inspired to try this recipe and i have given you a reason to click onto that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet so here we have the pièce de résistance the Gary Pinot à la Indu Dubai Fafa. <laughs> now, I'd leave the transcripts of this recipe, including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat as Indu Dubai Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Now, until next time, take care of you. Be you, be nice, be beautiful, and I love you.